What's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here at New York Toy Fair 2020 at the DC Collectibles booth with the one and only Jim Fletcher. How are you doing today, Jim? That is a fantastic opening. I just have to say. Oh, you like Busted that? that right out. Well, you are hey. the one. In, oh, the hey. <laughs> so good. My two-year-old daughter is starting to impersonate that. It's <laughs> it's the cutest. I so might. if you thought I could do it well, she's she's. Next got time it you send her here, we'll get this interview done right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So there's a lot of goodies over here that mm. I've been looking at. I got footage of everything, and mm. I'm very impressed with what you guys are doing, especially with the stats. I'm like really liking what I'm looking at over here. Oh, cool, man. And you you started making statues based off of one of my all-time favorite artists, Frank Cho. I was I'm thinking that's what You're thinking Frank Cho, right? <laughs> that's yeah. a good choice. That guy is unbelievably talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's amazing. That I've got pen and ink book that he did. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost man. threw out all my art supplies. I'm like, nope. Yeah, yeah. You know, Why bother? Mm -hmm. He's so good. Yeah, he's amazing. And yeah. really cool dude. I've got to meet him a couple of times. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Everything. Did he collaborate with you on making mm -hmm. the statues? So is there a lot of involvement from him in there? Yeah, we basically, when we're working with Frank or almost anybody else, actually, we, uh, we'll ask for a bunch of sketches, and then we'll go through them to see which ones we think make the best statue. Because not every drawing makes a great statue. There's right. a, lot of, you know, a lot of artwork doesn't mean it's going to be a, a cool piece. But yeah, Frank's stuff is really tight. He sent over a lot of nice like gesture drawings, and we went through them like, we think that's going to work. Then he finished it up, and we're like, yep. All right. So, yeah, they're beautiful statues. And our sculptor, John Matthews, who sculpted about 85% of all the Batman black and whites, maybe 90, also worked on that line. Oh, okay. So. And he did yeah. Frank's Wonder Woman from a few years ago, too, the oh, big piece. Yeah, yeah. That, that guy's amazing. Nice. That's, that, they're a really good combo. Right on. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, yeah I'm really excited for those. Yeah, it's been like all of Me them. Me too. Yeah, yeah, they look, look great. We'll get over there and talk about them at some point. Yeah, because they're yeah. over there. Well, we have, well, yeah, I know, yeah, they're over there. But they're looking at footage so that they can see what we're seeing oh, okay. or talking about. Oh, that, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so I have some B roll footage going, but. Oh, this yeah. will be fun for you to edit out later. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. The, fun, the, the extra fun work. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh. But hey, they want the close-ups, you know, and Frank Cho and makes it. Yeah, 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 there. Yeah, now they can be seeing it. Right <laughs> Hooray! There. Yeah. So, and, and I like the stuff that we have over here behind us as well. This yeah, is really this, cool. This palette is gorgeous. I really like. So that. yeah, I'm glad you like these because these artist alley figures are really, frankly, for the design team, such a labor of love. Because so you know we've been doing stuff working with all the talented comic book guys we have for the last 20 years, but in this case, we're going outside traditional comic book guys mm -hmm. and we were literally walking around artist alleys that shows been like that's cool that's cool that's cool and we'll take all the artwork back to the office and then we'll all argue about it we wow. seriously we'll sit down and get like arguments I like this and I like that and you can only do so many you can't do everything right right so at the end of the day luckily since since I'm the boss I get to pick so yeah. whatever but <laughs> the guys usually bring their great stuff in so all these people we're on some of our lists originally and just try to get to the artist alleys as soon as we can. Uh -huh. So like Brent Peters is somebody we wanted to do from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't work out for whatever logistics reason. But he's got that really cool old like old school kind of Halloween weird vibe. How he's fitting in this, I don't know. Yeah, Defies a lot of things, but it's an amazing piece. Yeah. Yeah, this Brittany Jeez. Lee piece is absolutely stunning. It's just because she actually works in cut paper. Oh, so that's that actually so like cut sense. out paper. So we wanted to make sure we could actually see if we could do it uh, in a wow. statue way, and it worked out great. Stat yeah. Statuistically, we just made it up for your show. St wow, I just, that's pretty good. There's toyetic, there's statuistically. That's there's new there. now. We're going to rock that. Yeah, We're yeah. going to own a statue. <laughs> we'll just copyright it. I'm going to have to say that in the review right do now. Do it. Yeah, I owe okay. you a dime every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fine, finally. You can pay me after. So Attack Peter, so it's funny. One of my art directors, Travis, and I have been buying this guy's artwork already. He does these big prints, have hand-pulled like actual prints on this, shiny, on this rice paper. Oh, wow. Freaking beautiful. So anyway. Wait, um, then he did this drawing and we're like hell yes that's such a cool statue you don't see Lord Deathman show up too much yeah but he's not in the final piece probably but it's just, there's enough going on there without him yeah yeah I love that Batman it's just so yeah has a dark night like, husky just, yeah he's so big yeah yeah and then over here you have Patrick Bellastaros like lightening things up a little bit it's like a little more you know fun look and then yeah. the most crazy at the end if we don't do enough Robins you should be delighted because there's three Robins in one statue ah, so they're all like all, like like too. Yeah. The yep. the so I'm like in the yeah. Bat family, like they're helping Batman fly, I just like his own family does. That's great. That guy used to, he was working on SpongeBob. 
Oh, uh, okay. And he's a big so, Gwen and Stimpy guy, clearly. Oh, yeah. God, that makes so much sense. Right? It's so great, though. He's got that powdered toast man butt. I can yep. see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> powdered toast man butt. Yeah, yeah, he's got that there. This is just got it. It's not even a name tag for this. It just showed up at the last minute. It's not even mm. the final base. Uh, one of our art directors in the office made this and just stuck him on there. Wow. The final base is super cool it's got a big dark side head and all kinds Ooh. of storytelling going on because it's from our oh, it's from our yeah, deceased that line okay yeah so yeah, that's the that if you look at a face up close it's like the uh Ooh, it's yeah. the deceased version of batman there's all the um, and then we can make people look evil when you put the light on look look how evil he looks look listeners he's so terrifying i'm actually kind of scary without the light you look more handsome that way actually yeah <laughs> well, anyway so yeah, as far as the rest of the city, you go. <laughs> Actually, for these two statues, I got to take out my own pencils and pens and draw them. It's been a while since I went back to the drawing board. So oh, that is when cool. you see the final base, it's going to be amazing. And of course, the metal line was insane. Oh, there's so much happening. Oh, yeah. And what's funny, so this, the Batman Who Laughs kills a lot of Batmans in the book. And in the base, there's all different oh. Batmans from different eras. So if you go all the way around... This, wow. The Batmans are all different time periods and all different Batmans. These are all like different demon Robins or something? I haven't, yeah. read, the, I haven't read the book. I have to catch up, but I know, I know. Wow. I, I've, I, I've been wow. shamed many a times. Yes. Let the shame continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pile it on. Uh, well, yeah. okay. well, I won't ruin the storyline for you, but this guy goes through a lot of historical moments like dealing with these old Batmans, but not the newest one. So oh. he has all these, he has these like crazy Robin monsters he carries on chains and runs around with them. You really, that book's crazy. Crazy. You should definitely read that. Wow, yeah, yeah. And no, then we I have, have our, over here's our multi part statue. So um, last year we rolled out the Heroes one, if you remember this. Mm -hmm. So then we're like, let's go do a Villains one because that's kind of neat. Yeah. So they're all on the rooftop doing the same thing. Uh, that's um, like like the same that. kind of thing. They're sculpted all on the round so there's no boring oh, so flat angles. And that way you can just buy. I'd rather you bought all of them and put them together. Right. However, if you're like, oh, I really don't like. Joker, you don't have to buy him, you can just put Mr. Freeze in it. So. Yeah, so it doesn't look silly with him all Right, by it's not just like, oh, here I am standing with a base with nothing on the back. Yeah. So. so you're not getting punished if you don't get all of them. Unlike people that don't read the metal book, who will yeah. be punished the rest of the interview. All right, so with the, <laughs> that, that was a well, you held on to that set. You already know about Batman Black and White. Obviously, yeah. one of our yeah. longest running statue lines. We had the big 100th announcement over here. But so I couldn't have guaranteed at one point we would ever get. To 100. I mean, oh, we started this thing 16 years oh, ago. And nobody, nobody thought that was going to happen. But I can guarantee there'll be at least 106 because here's the next six on top. So you got the Frank Miller and Armor statue. You've got the, the Jim Lee over here. You got this one's super cool. The Great Capullo Bat Monster from the cover. This was traditionally sculpted. Most of our stuff isn't anymore, but. Wow, that, that's so cool to see. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Wow. And we've got the Freddie Williams Batman. So we worked on the Ninja Turtles and Batman book that we had out. Oh, right. Um, yeah, yeah, so that yeah, is I one ripped that Batman. That is, yeah, I know. Yeah, he's super wild. Yeah, super that, cut. Yeah, that one based on me. Just so you know, oh, I, I yeah, had to post. Yeah, but you can tell, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just, like so we, just so the, the readers know. <laughs> the listeners all know. Uh, we finally got to the Mike Mignola Batman from the, um, you know, from the Gotham by Gaslight. Not the John Matthews who sculpted most of these. That's just sick. Yeah. It looks just like the drawing. And we've got a Brian Bolland uh, statue from The Killing Joke, which yeah. handily comes out the same time as our new Joker line, which is also launching in October the same time as this one. So you've got... Now, the Joker line, you'll notice, is in color. It's a full color. All the purples and stuff are all different. Okay. Because uh, the Batman black and whites, he works in black. He's only got, like, two other colors. Gotcha. Like, he's got, like, okay. sometimes he's blue. But right. he's basically got a yellow belt and maybe a yellow chest symbol on some of his face. So right. really easy to figure this one out. The same with Harley down here. It's all, you know, same shades She's of red. Colors, yeah. But with Joker, we're like, well, we could do them all this traditional color. But it, we tried it a couple of times and it didn't really work. You can't just paint like this one purple because in the book, he's, it's a black tux. And since right. we're now back to with our own lane, like DC Direct on Direct from the source material, we thought, well, you know what? The Joker's cut him out there doing his own thing. They'll be whatever colors he needs to be. So that's the one big difference between all these lines. Like the purples and stuff are going to be all over the place. Gotcha. Unlike gotcha. these. This just showed up yesterday. This is one of our new Harley yeah, statues to rip for the white and black. Yeah, it's that awesome. Yeah, the gum, the bubble gum thing is. Right. And the blood splatter on the face. Yeah, Ooh, it's, it's pretty cool. Looking, she's gorgeous. Looking. Yeah, that was based on a cover. It was great. And then uh, J. Scott Campbell uh, Harley yeah. over there. We're expecting that to do really well. That's that's been pretty fun. Uh, these other ones were listed in previews before, but you got Stanley Lau, Amanda Connor, Steve Pugh from the Breaking Glass book. You can see she's a little smaller, right? Because right, she's a kid yeah. in the book. 
Oh, so she can't be suddenly a full size Harley. So she's to scale. Yes. Like she's meant to scale. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Then the figures look really good. Oh, we got cool. Pixel yeah. Ham over here. Where? <laughs> yeah, where? Where? You guys should interview with each other. Why don't you take us through the line? Man? What do we got? Okay, so over here, here we got Bat Guy. <laughs> oh, Bat Guy. Yeah, Bat Guy. That's cool. Oh, and Bat Guy. <laughs> yeah. That's all, that's all I got. I'll get, I'll get out of here now. Burn, burn. He, he doesn't have a He-Man sword, so he doesn't know. He can't figure out. So anyway, the Batman animated stuff. So, I mean, you're familiar, obviously, with this. You were a big fan of these when they came out. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then we branched out and started doing our own character. Not our own character, but characters that hadn't been on the show before. Like right. Red Hood and Vampire Batman. This man, Batman who laughs. Yeah. The ticket the, is... Uh, yeah, Azrael. Azrael's never in the ticket is Thomas Wayne. Yeah. From, and this looks like he could have been on the show for sure, right? Like I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... It was never on the show, but it, 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 it's, there's like a weird feeling seeing these because it's like, wait, that I don't yeah, yeah, remember I don't seeing so, that. But, but it they weren't even invented then, so yeah, there's no way yeah, that they, happened. They didn't exist. Like yeah. with Talon, was not around. Right. So yeah. we, uh, so one of our challenges was try to figure out how do we do this and make them look like they were on the show. So Ty Templeton did all the design work for all the new ones. Who was also, you know, his his artwork style is like perfect. And they announced the comic book, as you probably saw. Oh, yeah. So we've got a, um, they're going to be editorial after seeing the toys. They're actually going to put out a comic and with these new characters in it. Awesome. So that's pretty freaking amazing. Nice. So it's all going to come together right yep. there. So I'm hoping this does really well for everybody because that will be sick. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, and, and, and Paul Dini is working, is doing the story writing. Oh, perfect. There you go. Yeah, Crazy. That, it, yeah now it's destined for greatness. Yeah, it's got it's some of the same guys that worked on the show on the book and helped us get the toys done. So destined yeah. for greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, good. Yeah. I didn't exactly. <laughs> so this is our Essentials line. This is the most recent wave of these Essentials figures yeah. with Flash, Batman, Nightwing, Superman. and Superman. There's also going to be a six pack of the Justice League coming out. But the newest thing for the show is this deceased line. Yeah. So did you read this book now? I'm going to have to shame you again. You, you shall shame me. Double shaming. Yeah. Well, well, hold wow. on. I have a two-year-old daughter and an eight-month-old daughter. Turn that off. And like, <laughs> this man. This man right here, he shall be shamed in the DC booth, but we will still continue this. Okay. Wow. You're going to hold that sad face. All right, let's go. <laughs> you're a good. Does your kid give you that sad face? You're not, I've you're been not, practicing. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking lessons. Yeah. Yeah. A little pouty. Thing. Yeah, yeah. A little. Don't go away from New York, Daddy. <laughs> this line of deceased figures is great. We got to use our same basic essential structures, but give them new faces, new hands, like cut them all up. Um, but yeah, this. And what's really cool for this show, you see some of the prototypes here, not even painted yet, because they just showed up here yesterday in a box. So yeah, the, the newest ones here, you got Batgirl all messed up. You got Red Hood in the back, Deathstroke over here looking super creepy. Oh, man. Yeah, we're gonna check out the detail on his face All right, though. Yeah. He's super oh, man. messed up. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. Love right? that. And it's really. I mean, I'm a big horror guy, so I love we get. And we don't get to do you know, a lot of uh, of horror stuff with our yeah, heroes, but this so line smart. is so cool because they're all like we have pretty messed up versions. Well, it's there's like a beauty to grossness. It's weird, like oh. like. Like for, this for interview. Some, yeah, it's yeah. like, well, if, if, if you're if you're really going to make something nasty, you have to have a you lot of detail it. in yeah. there. Um, I mean, that's like super cool. There, there's a lot of color, like with decay, natural, like in the real world. That's like, actually true. Like, like fall leaves are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's so. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look at us. They're all waxing philosophical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've gotten really deep over here. We really yeah. have. <laughs> you know, let's pour ourselves out of the depth of this conversation. <laughs> there's something cheery that you actually personally like. Now, Sam Lee Lau is a big guy. Uh, he does a lot of great illustration for DC. A lot of his covers have been really well received and anything he paints will just be like, yep, mm -hmm. we'll do that. And that, when he did this animated Catwoman cover, we're like, oh <laughs> man, we have to do a statue of that. It's so great. Yeah. And the Capullo mm -hmm. cover, you know, Dancing with the Batman cowl is amazing. This Josh Middleton piece just came out of a package oh. yesterday as well. Josh Middleton, I haven't heard, well, I haven't been up to date with all my books, but Josh Middleton. Yes, I know I love, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love his work and I haven't seen a lot of stuff from him recently. So. And stylistically, he's very diverse. So yes. He's all over the place. It's super cool. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we just saw this come out, so we busted out a sculpt for Toy Fair. Nice. Just because oh. we knew you were coming. Yeah. And speaking thing. of you coming here, yeah. here you go. All right. Yeah, so the Frank Cho statues, um, you know, we've switched out the cover girl artist a number of times. Mm -hmm. During this run, started with Adam Hughes, and we started it back in New York a long time ago. 
but um, we've gone through a bunch of the people, but Frank's done a ton of covers. Mostly the Harley ones have been done recently are great. Mm -hmm. So like, how do you not do this guy? The, yeah. body sh the body shapes are great. The strength of the women are really cool. Like that right. Harley pose. Yeah, yeah. Freaking great. Super, I mean, the story he tells in a pretty simple thing, like this whole stick right. is so great. Like hunting down stuff and just being annoyed by this bad Supergirl just enjoying life. Yeah, yeah. Harley's looking badass and then Poison Ivy doing her thing, so. Yeah, the facial expressions it was are so, so good. well done. Yeah, uh, yeah. John yeah, Matthews, yeah. the guy that sculpted these, is amazing. Yeah, I was about to say, because it's like one thing for Frank Cho to draw it, but to really get it to translate. It's true, in, man. In form, I mean, because it looks like his work right here. It so, really, man. yeah, that Harley piece is just spectacular. Right. So oh, good. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's stunning. These look really good over here, too. Oh, well, so yeah, our, our DC Bombshells line that yeah. you've obviously, we've talked about that a number of occasions. Right, yeah. So yeah. we have a deluxe Harley statue, which got some really nice details, like the circus tickets over over here, yeah. spilled popcorn, she's doing the striker, <laughs> uh, smash, smash, uh, smash Joker in yeah. head. Yeah. And then we have a Black Canary and uh, Green Arrow uh, bombshells couple statue. Mm -hmm. and every now and then we do two of them together because we can throw some of the dudes in yeah. to the bombshells line, which is great because it keeps the story you know, going along with what we've been trying to do mm -hmm. in the same time frame. And then we're redoing a uh, Ivy. Uh, and they, uh, she was like the fourth statue out, I think, when we did these originally. Yeah. So now we said, you know what? Let's, let's, Let's get a holiday version out there. Yeah. No, yeah, of course, exactly. if, if I'd be showing up with a bunch of Christmas boxes, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, whatever. I'm leaving no. it. No, not for me. Thanks. Yeah, don't open it. Thanks, yeah, miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah that's, right there. that's what we got for the yeah, show. Yeah, I'm so, excited, man. This is really good stuff. Really yeah, stoked for what you guys are doing. It's, I'm always there when you come in here. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, Jim. Really appreciate it. Love seeing the creativity with the work and everything. Oh, thanks. Really excited about it. Is, if someone told me I would, could do this for a job when I was a kid, I'd be like, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no, God, yeah, same thing here. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, very lucky time. Yeah, very lucky know time. comics in the basement, I think it would pay off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, for real. All, all the shame from those the years. Shame, the yeah, shame. Yeah, all that shame, and I've risen away from it, only to come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> and wow! I gotta read more comics. <laughs> got thank you so much. For you. <laughs> I know. I, got, I gotta catch up on my books. I'll be reading on the plane. Jim, thank you so hey, much. For great coming. time. Always great to see you. Yeah, great seeing right. you too. And watch you, this. It's a, yeah. he's great. You yeah. see more people, but only pay attention to this segment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> only pay attention to Jim. Exactly. Stay tuned, you guys. More coverage coming at you at New York Toy Fair what 2020. Did just, what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? I'm right here. <laughs> Okay, wait, well, more coverage uh, 2020. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thank you. Hey, let me show Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.